Hi everyone! In this video we're going to solve the initial value problem that involves a separable differential equation. Now what is the initial value problem? First of all we know that when we solve a differential equation solution is represented by a family of functions and family of functions contains infinitely many functions within it. So when we solve the initial value problem we're actually looking for one specific function from that family. We're looking for a particular solution, that's what it's called. What kind of function? Well, function that, sat that satisfies this condition. Uh, what is this condition? Well, remember this is function notation, y of 1 equals 3, and when we look at the function notation, what stands inside represents x, and well, what that equals to is y. Right? So that is y. In other words, we will have to find one specific function from the family of function, functions representing solution such that for that function when x equals 1, y equals 3. Now these are going to be the last steps in the process and we start by solving this differential equation as we normally do and first we have to obtain the family of functions so this is separable differential equation so we start by separating variables we need to put variables y on one side and x on the other side so let's see how we can do that here um, I'm gonna start by isolating dy dx first dy dx equals well um, what I have in mind is subtracting x, y from each side for that, right? Okay, so I have y minus x, y on the right-hand side. And now, as I'm trying to separate variables, the useful step will be to factor the right-hand side. So I'm going to factor out y since each term contains y. So dy dx equals, and as I factor out y, there will be 1 minus x left inside the parentheses. And the reason I want to do that is because now it's going to be easy to separate variables using division operation. Well, actually, I'm going to start by multiplying each side by dx so that dx appears on the right-hand side this way. And I already have 1 minus x here on the right-hand side. I'll just have to move y to the left. Well, I'll do that by dividing each side by y. So, let's clean this all up and see what we have. Now, on the left-hand side, dy is on the top and y is on the bottom. Just be careful keeping all the parts um, on the right spots. And on the right-hand side, I have 1 minus x dx right next to each other. 1 minus x dx. Okay, like that. We separated variables, and that means that we're ready to integrate each side. So we're going to integrate the left-hand side and the right-hand side. I can see that integration will be easy here, so I'll just continue. Integral of dy over y is ln of absolute value of y. I'm not going to put constant here, I'll put it on the right hand side, equals, and here I'll just have to, since it's a difference, when we're integrating, we can just integrate each term. Integral of 1 is x, and integral of x is x squared over 2, plus c. Okay, so that is solution to the given differential equation. Um, uh, it's written in the implicit form, but this is a family of functions, right? The solution represents family of functions because of this arbitrary constant c, it can take upon any value and that creates infinitely many functions. But we're looking for one specific function. We're solving the initial value problem. In other words, we're given the initial condition y of one equals three. This is called initial condition. And to find solution to this initial value problem, what we need to do, um, we, as we already said, need to find function from this family such that this function satisfies the following. When x equals 1, 
y equals 3. Well, we literally have to plug that into um, our solution here. So when x equals 1, y equals 3. I got it from this initial condition. This is what it means. So I'm going to plug in 3 for y, L n of absolute value of 3, which is just 3, um, equals 1 minus 1 squared over 2 plus c. So my goal right now is to find the value, specific value of this constant c, such that, and then I will replace it here, such that I will ob obtain a particular function, particular solution that will be satisfying this condition. So what is that constant c? So I'll have a ln of 3, I can drop absolute value, absolute value of 3 is 3, right? Equals 1 minus, well, this is 1 half, so that's 1 half plus c. So c equals a ln of 3 minus 1 half. That's what that constant equals to. Yeah, I mean, it's written in this, uh, you know, Maybe not very pretty form, but I'll just leave it like that. That's okay. I mean, we know it's a constant. So that's the constant that I have to use to obtain a function. And I'm going to plug that in here to obtain a function that satisfies the initial condition. It's going to be one of the functions from that family of functions. So ln of absolute value of y equals x minus x squared over 2 plus and then ln of 3 minus 1 over 2. So solution to the initial value problem is always a specific function that, that does not involve arbitrary constant. This is called a particular solution. Um, it has no arbitrary constant. And it's just the general name for this type of solution. But in the, in our case, as we're solving this problem, this is the um, solution to the initial value problem. Function that is solution to the differential equation and that satisfies this initial condition. So that's going to be the answer. And as you can see, it's in the implicit form. Why is not by itself? But I'm just going to leave it like that.